These are among the most exclusive and highly trained nannies in the world. Ready, here we go. They learn self-defense and advanced driving techniques. And even their cooking skills are cut above. We're sort of training a league of super nannies. Think Mary Poppins with a little James Bond. The course at Norland College in England costs them $21,000 a year. But after graduation, they can command salaries of $170,000. That's four times the average nanny salary in the UK. Britain's royal family has even hired them. So, what does it take to become one of the most exclusive nannies in the world? Trained to protect themselves and the children in their care, Norla nannies are part of an elite. Often working for high-profile employers, they're expected to deal with potential threats, like kidnap attempts. Unfortunately, I have had an experience where a man tried to take the little girl that I used to look after. I said, you need to give her back, and he said, no, and so I just, I just had to pull her off of him while I was holding onto the buggy where her baby brother was. It is scary, but that's why I think parents hire yeah. Norlanders because we are given that extensive training for these worst case scenarios, because actually the big wide world is very scary and you are looking after their most prized possession. No. Shaking, your hands are shaking. <laughs> Got the adrenaline going. In the career they've chosen, no! a lot of them don't realise what they're capable of, but after getting them into this, they really do come out of themselves. It takes four years to become a fully qualified Norland nanny. Three years of study, followed by a year's placements with a family. And it's more expensive than studying at Oxford or Cambridge University. But the idea is that their qualification will soon start paying off. Within a year, they're actually averaging about 40,000 a year. So that's a young person in their early 20s, probably earning more money than perhaps uh, an up-and-coming accountant or lawyer. With the nannies earning that kind of money, skills like cooking and sewing have to be at the highest level. When I was on my residential placement, the family had such a varied diet. They were really into like satay chicken and we had lemongrass chicken a lot. So a lot of pan Asian flavours and it was really nice to see. So you, you place your nori with the shiny side down. These third year students are learning how to make child friendly sushi. And then you're using the bamboo mat to roll your sushi up. I really don't enjoy cooking to be honest and so the lessons have been really really helpful for myself as I am not a confident cook. The students do three years of sewing with us alongside their BA and they uh, work through a series of six projects developing their machine and hand sewing skills. It could be just doing name labels and buttons of things that you know every a family or all families need, but going on to making things that for their charges, their children might have ideas and they'll make things with them or for them. Is it an undoable knot? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncy, um, but this carriage pram would take a child up to about two and a half years of age. So, do we remember what this is called? That's the apron. The apron, absolutely. And you don't use that when you're inside because it could make the baby too hot. The students also learn how to prepare an old-fashioned pram. Remember with carriage prams you don't have to do hospital corners but you just want to make it as tidy and neat as you possibly can in the pram. So, Norland nannies still use these today in college and in the workplace. Remember, attention to detail is really important, so um, make that look neat and tidy. It's, um, but Principal Dr Janet Rose wants to modernise the image both of the college and of the nannying profession. Knowing how to control a car in skid is just one of the skills a modern-day Norland nanny can offer clients. Norland College was founded by Emily Ward nearly 130 years ago. Her aim was to encourage a better and more educated class of women to enter the ranks of domestic service. 
So here we have the um, very first probationers, all the way back in 1892, the very first students at Norland. And here we have a photograph of one of our Norlanders um, who worked for the Greek royal family. Back then, nannies had to wear nurses' uniforms to differentiate themselves from the household servants. Puffed sleeves and pinafores were replaced over time by a modest beige dress, brown bowler hat and brogues, and white cotton gloves. Nannies are still required to be immaculate and abide by strict rules. Smoking is banned, as is buying alcohol, fast food, or even a takeaway coffee. I definitely found the uniform really appealing. I think there's something about wearing this uniform. You know, you represent 125 plus years of heritage. And this uniform means a lot. It means that we're highly trained and we're really passionate about doing what we do. The college wants to attract more diverse, more international students. Norland is also taking on university status. Soon we will become Norland University and will be the first specialist earliest university in the world. But for Freya, becoming an all and nanny isn't about pay or prestige, it's about a passion for the job. I want children to learn because they want to, I want them to explore because they want to, and be curious about the world. And for me, seeing that is the most rewarding thing ever. That's more rewarding than any paycheck I could ever get. Seeing a child exploring, being curious, wanting to learn, wanting to grow, that's just so incredible which sounds, for parents who can afford it, practically perfect in every way.